Rishi Sunak finally uh, looking to sell this deal that he's done with the EU to the likes of the DUP. Uh, as for what the DUP's position is, spelled out very clear here by the likes of Nigel Dodds. The Northern Ireland, as it stands, is colonised by the EU. That is intolerable for every unionist. And he says, if the Brexit protocol and the European Court of Justice are still there, we won't go back into the executive in Belfast. Now, as for what Brexiteer MPs are saying, and of course there is a suspicion that they're going to be sidelined, given uh, Labour have said they're pretty much ready to back whatever Sunak agrees with Brussels. You've got, for instance, David Jones, Deputy Chairman of the ERG, saying the protocol won't be fixed by displaying green and red signs and pretending that ECJ hasn't got supreme jurisdiction in Northern Ireland when it manifestly has. He says Northern Ireland must cease to be subject to laws made in Brussels. It's as simple as that. Anything less won't work. John Redwood there also saying very clearly that EU needs to stop imposing its laws and its court on Northern Ireland if it wants a deal on trade. The EU has undermined, he says, the Good Friday Agreement and prevented Stormont meeting. Now, someone else who is weighed in on this is Lord Frost, who has urged Sunak not to back a settlement that fails to solve the issues, merely to boost ties with the EU, saying that the protocol was a huge concession by us, allowing the EU to set the laws in terms of trade in part of our country. He says that situation cannot stand. No other country in the world has to live with that. And that concession must be rolled back. There is no other option. He says the only question is whether this is done with the protocol bill or by negotiation, but that the end outcome must be the same. But he points out, and you know, it seems like a ridiculous move for the government to have gone down this route, but by sidelining and halting the protocol bill, they've actually weakened their hand. And so Frost very clear that on this, if the deal on offer is poor, go back to the protocol bill and that no deal is still better than a bad one. Someone endorsing uh, that point of view, that perspective from Lord Frost was the Conservative MP Simon Clark. They're saying this is a very sensible position set out by Frost. I look forward to seeing the text of a deal if one has been agreed. But in the absence of something decisively better, the default must remain enacting our protocol legislation. So as we've talked about before, no deal better than a bad deal. Uh, let me know what you make of what Frost and Conservative MPs had to say there, guys. I will keep bringing you the very latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.